Did you see Sam Smith's recent performance at the 65th Grammys? Let's just say the song, outfits, dance moves, and pretty much everything else caused quite a bit of controversy. But of course, award shows are no stranger to controversy, and whether we're talking about the Grammys, the Oscars, or anything in between, there is bound to be a controversial moment that's easy to spot. Some of these moments were planned, others came as a surprise to pretty much everyone. But one thing they have in common is that we aren't going to forget them anytime soon. Join Factsverse to learn about the most controversial award show moments in history. The Oscar Streaker The movie The Sting swept the Academy Awards in 1974, and it was generally a good year for American cinema. There was nothing controversial about the year, and one wouldn't have expected anything particularly exciting happening at the awards ceremony. That is, until Mr. Robert Opel came onto the scene. One of the presenters for the evening was Sir David Niven. He was on stage and about to introduce Elizabeth Taylor when a naked man ran on the stage. He disappeared quickly, but the few seconds he was on stage was enough for us to be discussing this event almost 50 years later. David Niven was shocked, but owing to his British quick wit, was able to make a joke about the incident. Yet, it was a mystery as to who the man was and why he streaked on stage. Later, we learn the Oscar streaker was Robert Opel. He was an art gallery owner from San Francisco. He was openly bisexual, and his art gallery mostly attracted gay clients. He was a streaker for hire and also a stand-up comedian. He was also known for being a gay rights activist and lauded in his inner circle, despite only being known as the Oscar streaker outside his circle. The general public has largely forgotten about him in the years that passed, but he once again became a news story when tragedy struck. He was shot and killed by two thieves one night, and the news began running stories about his death, once again bringing up his Oscars incident. Will Smith Slaps Chris Rock The most controversial award show moment of recent memory was at the last Oscars when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. But it wasn't just the incident that caused controversy, but the authenticity of it, the timing, and the possibility of there being a bigger motive behind the incident. Chris Rock was doing a routine and making jokes about the crowd, as he's done before. He looked at Will Smith and his wife, Jada Pinkett, and made a joke about Jada's bald head. Everyone laughed, and at first it seemed that Will Smith also found it funny. But then all of a sudden, Will Smith got up and stormed onto the stage. Chris Rock was confused as to what was going on, and then wham! Will slapped Chris on the face and went back to his seat. Everyone was in shock. Upon returning to his seat, Chris looked at Will, who screamed to keep Jada's name out of his mouth. He screamed this again, and Chris Rock backed off. The show went on. Will later won an Oscar for his role in the film King Richard and briefly apologized for the slap, but the damage was done. It remains, as of now, the most talked about controversy at a recent award show. Of course, discerning eyes have picked up on the fact that Will Smith didn't seem to have a problem with the joke until perhaps Jada told him she was offended, which initially led some to believe the thing might have been staged. Kanye West and Taylor Swift have you ever watched a music awards ceremony and been disappointed that your favorite singer didn't win? Well, you're not alone, because this is exactly what Kanye West thought a few years ago. It was at the 2009 MTV Music Awards. Taylor Swift had won an award for her song, You Belong to Me. Taylor was on stage giving her speech when all of a sudden, Kanye stormed on stage. He interrupted her speech to praise her and then to state that Beyonce was more deserving of the award and wasn't getting the appreciation she deserved. Taylor was dumbstruck and was eventually escorted off stage in tears. Beyonce was apparently embarrassed by the incident and later criticized Kanye for his actions. She won another award at the same event and asked Taylor Swift to come back on stage to finish her speech. While this event might not be discussed as much today, it's still one of the most controversial award show moments in history. Many memes were made of the incident, and it was one of the early incidents when Kanye West's antics and erratic behavior became the center of the media's attention. And the award goes to... It's not just singers who start making acceptance speeches only to have them interrupted. The producers of a film sometimes have to suffer the same fate. But what could be worse than expressing your appreciation for winning the Best Picture Oscar only to find out you didn't win it? That's exactly what happened at the 2017 Academy Awards. Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway announced that the winners of the Best Picture Oscar was La La Land. The La La Land team went on stage to give their acceptance speech. But in the middle of the speech, it was revealed that Beatty and Dunaway were handed the wrong envelope. 
Host Jimmy Kimmel came on stage to give them the correct one, and the speeches were interrupted, and the correct envelope was opened to reveal that the film Moonlight was the actual winner. Jordan Horowitz grabbed the card to show it to the audience. He stated it wasn't a joke and that Moonlight was the actual winner. The crowd gave them a standing ovation, and then the team behind Moonlight came on to give their speeches. This incident became controversial, and there has been analysis on whether the La La Land team were good sports and handled it with grace, or whether they felt embarrassed. It's one of the most watched moments in the history of the Academy Awards, and was discussed for many weeks after it. Marlon Brando's Acceptance Speech At the 1973 Academy Awards, Marlon Brando won a well-deserved award for his performance as Don Vito Corleone in The Godfather, released the previous year. Fans and colleagues alike were eager to see Brando, already seen as one of the great actors of all time, give a speech for his role, which would later be solidified as one of his greatest and perhaps one of the greatest performances in cinema history. But when Marlon's name was called, it wasn't he who walked on stage. In fact, Marlon wasn't even present at the ceremony. Instead, a young Native American woman, dressed in beautiful traditional attire, went on stage. Her name was Sachin Littlefeather, and she was best known as an activist for the rights of the indigenous peoples of the United States. She accepted the Oscar on Marlon's behalf and made a speech criticizing the Wounded Knee standoff event that had been all over the news. Marlon already had a reputation for being sympathetic towards Native Americans and an advocate for their rights. The speech was applauded by some and booed by others. Some attendees would later make jokes about it. Nevertheless, it struck a nerve. Brando received criticism for sending Littlefeather to give the speech, but he didn't care. He was later interviewed by Dick Cavett and discussed the incident. He was nonchalant and didn't care about any criticism thrown at him. To this day, this controversial moment is discussed and watched on replay. Since celebrities do have, for better or worse, influence on society, the Oscars seemed like the perfect place to bring awareness to such an issue. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you like watching award shows? Did you know about any of these controversial moments that have happened in award shows throughout the years? Let us know in the comments section below.